Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I think I'll bring my face down here. I hope I got this set up all right. I think it is. I wanted to share with you this video from Steve Fletcher. I haven't watched the whole thing yet, but it looks like to be a very good Bible study. And why he has hope. We all have hope. Do we not? Every... I know a lot of people don't want to hear about any dates because they come and they go and then they're all disappointed. Well, here's the thing about it. See, if we quit watching and quit hoping, you will end up going back into the world thinking you got all kind of time because you don't know when Jesus is coming. But when you're like him and people like Steve Fletcher, you're looking. You're looking. You're waiting. You're like that wise virgin waiting with her lamp and lots of extra oil which is the Holy Spirit of course I know now that the ten virgin parable is referring to those left behind and that's another story I talked about it like right when I first started this uh, new channel that uh, the Aramaic Bible says as they were waiting for the bride and groom to come okay the foolish they woke up. The foolish were running out of oil. They said, oh, give us some of yours. They said, oh, no, or we won't have enough for ourselves. They said, you go out and buy. See, and, and that's the secret word there is buy. The others had evidently made their own, saved up, whatever. But these ones were foolish. They didn't. And they were running out while they were waiting for the bride and groom to come and get them. That will be the multitude too large to number that goes to heaven. All right, half have taken the thing that allows them to go by. All right, do you get that? All right, I'm going to go back. All right, th this is not at the very beginning. Oh, I should have enlarged this already. I hope that didn't mess up how it looks. All right, so here I'm just showing you how he is breaking down words from the original word into... Uh, this happens to be uh, Greek out of Luke 2.1. Okay, so uh, I was trying to explain the other day in a, in a Bible study, uh, you could have called it, um, how it's good to use either, let's see, what source is this called? I forget what he called it. Um, or is it, this is not, I used blue letter Bible dot. O R G, but there are others. Okay, he probably he probably mentions it in there, and I Kathy uses the other one, uh, interlinear Bible. See, this is about Israel's population stands at over 9.3 million on Rosh Hashanah Eve. This is the Eve of Rosh Hashanah Feast of Trumpets. It lasts through uh, two, let's see, it's the beginning of their new year. When two witnesses, now this is how they're supposed to do it. When two witnesses stand on the mountain and see the first little crescent moon appear. You know, right now it's like a black moon. You don't see it. When you see that little crest of a moon appear, you blow, they blow the trumpet. Boo -da -doo. Okay. That starts the Feast of Trumpets. And I think it goes 48 hours. He'll explain it. But it's too long to play. And I wanted to go ahead and get this up because um, I just wanted to bring some good stuff to you i want to keep you encouraged and i pray that each and every single one of you will be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass what things you might say we're not escaping much of nothing yeah we are it's it's really rough for some people right now who have have been mandated take the you know take the vaccine or you're gonna lose your job because they want everybody protected you know but over there in israel unfortunately uh if you look at my bitshoot channel you can see more about that bitshoot.com my name is truther 2.0 all caps truther 2.0 all right so 
you've got this video here and that video over there and this, the funny one I put up about eating cookies. So I pray you all have a blessed Labor Day, what's left of it. And with that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and everybody who is celebrating Rosh Hashanah and I pray that nothing bad happens. And, uh, you know, like they don't get attacked while they're in the middle of celebrating. Because it's a real celebration over there for this. But it's a real big deal for Christians. Because a lot of us look toward the Feast of Trumpets. And next, if nothing happens, it will be the Feast of Tabernacles. Do you understand? Okay. So, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of us. Our devices. Satan, keep your hands off our computers cell phones, tablets, they belong to God, not to you. In Jesus' name, I command it. And I also plead the blood of Jesus over our internet connections. Boy, yesterday, I thought I was at Google Meet, and my computer